Okay, recording now. Okay, so uh, I haven't managed to be able to show, but I have a photo which you can find for anyone who's watching this video. There's a photo. If you go into Facebook um, and do a uh, put in the search bar, Dr. David R. Hawkins, Helen Shukman, and Bill Wilson. Uh, if you do that in the Facebook search menu, you'll, you'll see a photo of all three people together in a room at 1969. So you'll see a very uh, young Dr. David R. Hawkins uh, and uh, Helen, uh, who um, uh, had, who, and Bill Wilson, who was his uh, uh, AA sponsor, and Helen Shukman, who was, um, shall we say, uh, one of the vehicles from which the Course in Miracles uh, was written. Uh, all three of them together at 1969. Now, The Course in Miracles was published, I think, around in the mid-1970s. So, um, and so this was in 1969. It was also the date of my birthday. I was born in 1969. So all three of them were in a room. And uh, that photo you can find um, online. Uh, if you even do a Google search, you'll find that black and white photo of all three of them. And uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about them. They are, um, I believe, you know, being a Dr. Hawkins student, you know, I would read uh, you know, uh, a little bit of my journey. I had a, a near-death spiritual experience, uh, having kidney failure. Uh, then I came out uh, uh, wanting to, uh, and I had a spiritual message to find a spiritual solution in that spiritual experience. And then I got to meet someone who gave me a DVD of Dr. Hawkins, had a Kundalini experience tingling up the spine. I knew he was going to be my teacher. That was a knowing, not intellectual, that Dr. Hawkins was going to be my teacher. And, um, and then I started, you know, buying all his books, uh, buying all his uh, DVDs, all his materials. And what I got, partly what I got from his materials was, as a spiritual student, um, uh, the basics of spirituality are, 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 are had through doing the 12 steps. And I could see the message in all his writings, like uh, try, and, try and join a 12-step group, whichever one it is, and go through the steps. If you want to be a serious spiritual student, um, then uh, get, you know, go to a 12-step fellowship which you can join, whether it's alcohol, drugs, codependency, love addiction, workerlism, uh, under-earning, there's so many. There's something I'm sure you can join. And go through the 12 steps because it gives you the fundamental process of getting the basics of spirituality and how to stop addiction, whether it's food addiction, alcohol, drug, codependency, love addiction, uh, whatever it is. So, but it gives you a very core grounding in the basics of how to let go of the most basic aspects of the ego. Then the next and, and the, the uh, uh, course, uh, the 12 steps, the big book and the 12 step fellowships calibrate at unconditional love, calibrating higher than the, uh, than the 12 steps on a higher vibration, but you need the basics is the lessons uh, from A Course in Miracles. And then to get to the highest levels of enlightenment, of course you need uh, Dr. Hawkins work. Uh, some of his more advanced books are teaching how to get to the highest levels of enlightenment, how to get past the void, and all the temptations and the tests that you can meet on the way. So first, if, uh, stop your addictions, 12 steps, then do the lessons uh, from A Course in Miracles, gain enlightenment, the first entry into enlightenment, and then Hawkins' work to go all the way up to the highest levels of enlightenment after you dissolve the ego. So that was, I could see that from just reading book after book and watch and listening to video after video from Hawkins and I could see the path and I knew that was what I was gonna do. I was gonna do the 12 steps, I was gonna do the lessons from A Course in Miracles and I was going to study all of Dr. Hawkins' work because I knew that that was God's, uh, that was God's uh, mission, his soul contract, that that was my path if I was going to uh, go towards the light and not, you know, go, you know, I had already been in darkness, spiritual, emotional, physical, addictive hell, and in nearly dying. So I just, I did want the light, and, I, and the light was appearing. 
So, uh, you know, when I had, you know, and I, and I got to see uh, with Dr. Hawkins while I was watching his videos that he would s sit in his little cabin in Sedona and sort of hold his hands up and send light and love to all those suffering around the world. He was like a transmitter of God's love into, into the world for all those who were suffering. And I, I'm, you know, I got the spiritual intuition that, you know, he was sending light out to my soul as I was, you know, facing death in the hospital bed and I had my first spiritual experience. He was the savior, the avatar, trying to help all those in desperate need calling out to God and he was channeling God's light. That's how I intuited what had happened later on. He was going to be my avatar, my teacher, um, and, and call me back and, and guide me in how to, uh, how to go towards God from the darkness that I was in. But you can see uh, from the photo, I wish I could show it, but I can't on this video, the photo of all three of them together. There was a, uh, uh, the founder of the 12 Steps, Bill Wilson, with Dr. Hawkins, a young Dr. Hawkins, and uh, Helen Shookman, forgive me if I'm saying her name wrong, um, all together, you know, communicating. And I could, as I saw it, there was a great orchestration, um, a great orchestration um, on, uh, I hope it's okay that I'm getting the chat on the video, that will probably go live, so I hope that's all right with everyone. Um, and um, uh, so, um, so yes, there was a great orchestration of light um, that was um, uh, coming into the world at that time, uh, which was, um, which had brought these three people. For me, it was like for the Western world, um, the, um, we're using these three people as a vehicle to bring higher levels of truth and salvation into the world. Dr. Hawkins, uh, Bill Wilson, and Helen Shookman with The Course in Miracles. And these would be, you know, like the, the teachings for the Western world to bring in salvation. I think that was the instrumentation of light. And that was what I got hooked into, to bring this great message uh, for, for our times through the 12 steps, of course, in miracles and Dr. Hawkins teachings. So, um, and that has been my pathway. I won't go on too long into talking about that, but I have been, you know, uh, uh, doing the 12 steps, the course in miracles and Hawkins as my high teacher of enlightenment. So I just thought I'd share that as part of my own journey and why, uh, and a little bit about the history and how the three of them are connected. Uh, which is, you know, what I generally talk about in my videos, uh, Course in Miracles, Dr. Hawkins, and the 12 Steps. So I'm going to...